What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we're doing a nice, easy, quick, down and dirty video on how to tell if a circuit breaker is popped. Stay tuned. All right guys, so I'm gonna make this video really short and sweet. So every little circuit breaker is going to be different. So uh, there are different brands and everybody has their own theme to them, whether it be a ground fault circuit interrupter breaker, um, a GE breaker like the one we're about to look at, or a square D breaker, um, Cutler hammer. Everybody's gonna have their own little twist on uh, what a circuit breaker looks like and their design. So let's spin the camera around. I'm gonna show you exactly what the breaker looks like. All right, so this is a sub panel here. Um, I've got some square D breakers in here that are the same style as these older GEs. So first things first, yeah, you have on and you have off. So we can, we can show you that this is off and this is on. So anywhere in between, if you see the breaker slightly off of on, like here, this is a breaker that is tripped. So uh, you will notice that it's about halfway in between. On some square D breakers, um, I'll roll in a picture of one right here. Um, there's a little window on it so you can physically see if it is tripped. Now back over to our panel, uh, we can obviously see that this one's out of position. Now keep in mind, if you're working on older style breakers, uh, Pushmatics, they might be different. They're gonna have a different, uh, uh, a different version looking. I'll roll in a picture of a Pushmatic here. Um, it has a white indicator uh, showing that it is popped, um, and then you just literally push it back in. So uh, sometimes a breaker will not always um, click out of this on position. So it might be halfway in between. It might not be all the way out of position. So you will not be able to click it back on as seen here. You will have to set it all the way to off and then all the way back on. And that is how you reset a circuit breaker. Um, that's a good way to tell. Um, and you can go down your panel here and lightly put pressure on your breakers. And if it doesn't click off, I mean, you, you, you can put a little bit of pressure on it and make sure that it just isn't tripped, but you know that it's good to go. So that is how to tell if a breaker's popped. Boom. All right, guys, a quick down and dirty video, just like I told you it was going to be. So if you have any questions or concerns, put them down below in the comments. I'll try to uh, respond as soon as possible. If you've got anything that's out of the box, um, I rolled in a couple versions of breakers. Uh, just go down through there and check those bad boys out and uh, see which one is popped. So um, some of them have visual indicators. Some of them are just literally um, in a different position other than on. So I hope this guys uh, helps you guys out in the future. Um, I'm here to teach, here to learn myself. So if you've got any tips or tricks or if you're a certified electrician out there, uh, let us know in the comments. So you know what time it is. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And if you're new to the channel, please consider clicking that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next video.